Volkswagen hasn't closed a factory in Germany, uh, I believe, ever in its history. They're all still operating, but the company is about to. It's planning on closing down two factories, uh, amongst other closures, including closing down factories in China. Now, NIO, Chinese electric car manufacturer NIO, who just revealed a Tesla Model Y rival called the Onvo L60. It's significantly cheaper than the Model Y by 5,000 US dollars. A lot, of, a lot of people are saying it's going to be a, a real problem for Tesla in China. Now, I will do a video on that, by the way, guys. So you'll be able to see, is the NEO Onvo, is it a real legitimate rival for Tesla or is it just um, pretending to be? I mean, it's, like I said, significantly cheaper. Now, NEO, of course, believe that they are going to grow significantly and they want to buy the Audi factory in Brussels from the Volkswagen Group. Now, this factory is set to be closed down and its employees fired, but NEO seems to be suggesting that maybe it'll take some of these Volkswagen Group employees and get them to help NEO start up a factory in Germany. I've mentioned that the concept of a Trojan horse many times. To me, this looks very much like that scenario is happening and playing out in Europe right now. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. It's great to see you. I've been talking about the decline of the automotive industry worldwide since I started the channel, predicting that BYD and other Chinese car companies would take over the large majority of global car manufacturing. Since then, China has risen up the ranks and they were fifth in terms of global output of exports. They are now first in global output for exports. But that's not enough because you know Europe and the United States have said, well, hang on a minute, this is not good for our, our countries, for our economies, which is true. And they put on big tariffs. So Chinese car companies are saying, well, we'll find a way around this. And many of them are building factories now in Europe or they are taking over old ones. NEO thinks that, well, this could be a good idea. NEO is in talks to buy Volkswagen's Brussels plant, which is its Audi plant. Now, the last time the Volkswagen Group officially closed a factory was back in 1988 in Westmoreland, Pennsylvania. But the truth is, they have idled several factories in China. They just don't publicly admit that they've closed them down because otherwise there'll be panic in China and people, more and more people will stop buying Volkswagen Group's cars. They'll think that maybe they're going to do a Jeep or a Mitsubishi and just you know walk out and leave, declare bankruptcy potentially. Volkswagen is facing an overcapacity crisis amid, well, sluggish demand for their vehicles and new competition. Now, the Volkswagen Group said that their sales could decline by about 1 million this year versus last year. CEO Oliver Bloom warned that what Germany's competitive advantage is at risk as the industry shifts to electric vehicles. Now, the previous CEO said the same thing, Herbert Dies, and he was fired uh, for suggesting that the Volkswagen Group need to change drastically and put themselves in a position where they can officially manufacture EVs and therefore ra radically change the company. As a result, they got rid of him. Well, now the current CEO and the CFO are basically saying, uh, yeah, he was right. Volkswagen has already canceled plans for a new EV facility and delayed key model launches as it falls further behind China Chinese automakers. Now, I'm curious to know, is this partly, a, is it partly a Volkswagen goes to the bank and says, bank, we want to borrow another $200 billion, which is what they said. They publicly said, we're going to borrow $200 billion um, to invest in the future. New cars, new drivetrains, new batteries. That's what they said. They already have $190 billion in debt. I mean, do they go to the banks and say, we want another $200 billion. What do you think? The bank said, yeah, no. Uh, you have $390 billion in debt or more. How are you going to service that when your sales are continuing to decline? Now, interestingly, the Volkswagen Group's on a bit of a spending spree. They're saying they must save $11 billion over the next two years, but then they're committing to investing $5 billion into Rivian. That's pretty bizarre. They bought a stake in Xpeng. Um, they purchased a Chinese software company for $2 billion last year. So I'm not sure what Volkswagen are doing. It seems like a bit of a scatterbrained approach, sort of what you do when you're like panicking and you're like, oh shit, what am I going to do? Oh, I'll buy that, I'll buy this, I'll sell that, I'll do this, blah, blah, blah. Just sort of hang on a minute. Take a step back, have a good think about your strategy. According to a Belgian media report, China's NEO is in talks to buy the Brussels Audi plant, which is like I said, in Belgium. Now, Belgium also actually has begun manufacturing the new Volvo EX30 EV. Now we know who Volvo is owned by, Chinese parent company, Geely. 
The report from D Tide claims Neo representatives have visited a plant and are already working on a bid. Neo needs to submit its offer to Volkswagen by next Monday at the latest. Now I should point out that Neo has, well, they've racked up quite a, uh, a bill, put it that way. Neo love spending money and they have lost billions and billions and billions of dollars over the last few years. No one seems to care. When I point it out, I'm called a hater, literally. People who love Neo, wow, they pile on me, they write things online. Electric Viking hates Neo. Now, guys, as a company, Neo makes some fantastic products, no doubt about that. But you've got to admit, they're sort of like crack cocaine addicts when it comes to spending. Or like one of those desperate housewives, you know, just addicted to spending money big time. Now, this could pay off. Don't get me wrong. Maybe Neo will come through this and be one of the biggest automakers in the world. Or maybe they'll come through this and um, have a hell of a hell of a lot of debt and still not very large automotive production. I mean, for a company that spends like they do, they really don't make that many cars. You're looking around, what, maybe 20000 a month in a good month. Anyhow, Volkswagen plans to stop building cars at the facility after the last Audi Q8 e-tron rolls off the production line. If the plant closes, then nearly 3,000 workers will lose their jobs. Neo sells vehicles in Germany, Norway, the Netherlands, Sweden, and Denmark. It doesn't sell cars in Belgium, but you remember, Neo does have to pay taxes, 28% to import their cars from China and sell them in Europe. Now, if they were to assemble their cars, not actually you know build them, but just assemble them, at this factory in Belgium, they could avoid paying that 28% tariff. Although some ex, you know, some analysts are saying stuff like this, Neo buying out Volkswagen's Brussels plant would be symbolic of the market's shift to EVs. I'm not really convinced about that. Now, Neo is um, probably not the perfect, the greatest example of a company, in my opinion, that is successful. They have burned through investors' cash like crazy, and it may work, it may not. At this point in time, let's be honest, the company has been around since 2014. They haven't made a profit for any single month in their existence, ever. And I just I just wonder, when do they plan on actually making any money? The latest EV, the Neo Envo, the rival for the Tesla Model Y, it's a good car, but it's so cheap. I don't really see how Neo could make a profit from it. But you never know. Maybe their CEO is right after all. Maybe he's the one who's right and everyone else is wrong. Maybe Tesla is as bad as what the Neo CEO says they are. And maybe Neo coming in, you know, building their cars in Belgium will be a great successful move. I hope it is. I really do, actually. Let's wait and see. Let me know what your thoughts are. Thanks for watching.